morning amigos dr doug here at gobodytrust.com and it's a monday morning for y'all and me too found an article here on science daily older adults with obesity have fewer years of healthy life so this is a singaporean study on people who live in singapore uh, you know, aging populations are increasing all over the world, and it seems that as people get older, they get fatter, uh, and a lot of them are obese, which is a, a, a body mass index number of 30 or above. Don't ask me how they arrive at that number. It's too complicated. Well, it's actually not complicated, but it's not relevant to our discussion this morning. Extra body fat will age your cells. So they're finding out that people who um, are obese may, may live as long as people who are lean, but they're not healthy. Much of their life is spent unhealthy, uh, in pain, on drugs, um, fighting this and that, and health gradually deteriorating so that they cannot uh, even take care of themselves after a while. So the older they get in their 70s and 80s, they can't even take care of themselves. That's obese. Uh, I read on another book uh, called uh, Healthy Aging by uh, Andrew Weil, and he coined a phrase in there called delayed compressed morbidity. Delayed compressed morbidity. This is where uh, morbidity, which is serious disease and death, is put off as long as possible. And in the meantime, you're healthy. So that at the end, all your genes crumble all at once and within a week or a month, you're gone. Past the age of 100. You know, our lifespan um, newsflash is 120. It's not 80. It's not 77. It's 120. That's a human lifespan. I mean, I hear, I read another headline that says, scientists may be able to help us extend our lives to 100. Well, guess what? There's already a lot of people in the world who live past 100. Not much longer than, not much past 120, but that is, uh, that is our maximum lifespan. So we want delayed compressed morbidity. Unless we reach that age of unlimited life extension when um, genetic engineering has found a way to solve the mandatory death crisis. Now, that's another story. Live healthy and that means stop these habits. And you know, these authors of this study want us to stop eating so much and then get lean, but they're not connecting it to mind, of course. They don't realize that the hurrying and worrying, uh, that, that excess yang is pushed down by the excess yin of food. And that's why people are eating and overeating. It's to stay calm. It's to work against the excess yang that keeps rising. We need to work on that excess yang and bring it down to a healthy level. We need to stop worrying and stop hurrying. And it is possible. I guarantee you. I am living proof. Of course, I never was much of a hurrier, but I was a, I was a champion worrier. And uh, I'll tell you, whatever works for you, if it's religion or philosophy, my, my philosophy is Taoism. So that's about being in the moment and being in the here and now, not being in the future, which doesn't even exist. All these good things. Anyway, that's uh, that's what I have for you this morning. And enjoy your drink and enjoy your morning. And don't hurry and don't worry and don't overeat. Hasta mañana, amigos.